Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Q Design. I'm Janine and in today's tutorial I show you how to create a native UI picker with the new UI picker patch. Uh, I want to show you three different ways how to use the picker for 3D objects or complex scenes or for just to add uh, the material, um, the LUT material directly to the texture and including uh, the retouching and the slider uh, for the opacity for the dust. And just before I start with the tutorial, I just want to share with you why I really uh, recommend uh, this um, patch, uh, UI, native UI picker patch. Oh, that sounds weird. Native UI, native picker UI patch, whatever. So, um, because uh, I have so much trouble with, uh, I created this uh, tutorial before for um, com more complex scenes or for uh, the for 3D objects, so you can switch between them. And it was uh, really a mess. I um, had so many syntax uh, errors, or or I spelled something something wrong. And I, I am not a programmer, and I have so much so much trouble to understand the um, errors or uh, what I have to uh, how how I can change um, my script or what I can do uh, without knowing how um, a scripting works. I. I think I have a good idea right now about scripting, but I need a lot of time. Um, and this is really, really a perfect start for you to start with your own picker. So let's start with the tutorial and enjoy the process, of course. And we start at first with our 3D objects. Maybe you um, know, or maybe you've seen my, wait, it looks terrible. Um, maybe you've seen uh, this tutorial before, this, uh, uh, there I show you how to create a script for the native UI picker to um, switch the visibility off of um, 3D objects or um, maybe complexer scenes for, I don't know, um, different um, face mask or maybe you create uh, the whole um, Avengers bunch or something like that and you put the information in different null objects and just uh, switch the visibility of the null objects on and off and you can use uh, this um, new patch pretty simple or pretty easy to switch between different null objects and I show you this uh, what in this um, case I show you the basic idea of this patch before we go to more complex um, things or what complex or uh, different well, before we start with the color lot uh, thing. So uh, at first we need for this example um, different um, icons I created and I think console, I think I put them right here into my scene. There's um, the non icons, the diamonds, the stars and the um, heart icons. So this uh, first one is um, our um, null object with um, empty null object. This one is our heart object. So here, heart. Um, the stars and uh, the um, diamond. We add our icons to our patch editor. Yeah. And we need our UI picker. This is the UI picker and very important, make sure that uh, for your icons, the non-compression um, checkbox is um, yeah, checked on, whatever. Um, because uh, I just show you what happened when you don't think about that or when you uh, forgot uh, to um, put the checkbox on. You see the um, play button stops and you see this little um, sign right here, this warning and um, uncompressed texture. So you make sure that you really think about that and that's uh, a big problem of the script too. Just refresh. <laughs> it's 
start again and everything is fine and this is a big problem in the script you um, don't be get an kind of an alert or a an, um, warning when you forgot to go to no compression so this is a pretty um, pretty good a pretty nice to have and just link the visibility And now we want to add the uh, non uh, the icons or the these are the icons right here. Make sure you go to visibility and by default it start with the index number zero. So this one is zero, the first one. Um, uh, everything starts with zero, zero, one, two, three. So uh, you can of course when you want to start in the middle or something like that add another um, start index to it. Um, now we need an equal exactly at and we need four of them so command C and V to copy paste these uh, four times and add it to a scene. Perfect, and refresh. And you see every thing, uh, every um, null object. And that's why we uh, don't, um, we just uh, say that when you start with the uh, zero, the index number, number one, uh, this texture one or icon one, just show um, all the null objects in this case so make sure you add the numbers to it refresh now you see nothing and you can start with that and this is um, also pretty cool um, and the script i created um, i need to make sure that by default um, every um, object is invisible so i have to um, make uh, uncheck this checkbox uh, so that by default not every um, uh, null object uh, is visible and um, in this null object you can put everything like um, i don't know different um, face meshes or um, other 3d um, um, 3D objects or th something like that. So it's pretty um, great to work with this kind of um, solution. So this is um, the basic of the UI picker. So let's create a material, uh, uh, an UI picker just for the material and using the material as icons. And then to start with the animation sequence uh, so it this one this one right here is uh, are just two patches later and we start with a new open a new uh, project i think i can close that one right here whoops sorry I need a little while <laughs> and go to view um, patch editor. We need the patch editor. So, and we create, um, we start in this case, I want to show you uh, how to create a fast color LUT or different, uh, you can switch between different fast color LUTs. And uh, of course with a retouching and with um, um, dust filter and slider. So let's start with a plane, not with a plane, with a rectangle. This is our LUT rectangle and go to material at, of course, LUT mat. So, and go to flat. Um, if this is a little bit too fast for you uh, with the um, LUT, um, make sure you wait. Make sure you watch this tutorial right here. There I ex explain exactly and a little bit slower how to create a LUT and how to um, 
combine it with uh, the um, fast collage uh, patch and um, this is uh, right here is uh, the fast version a kind of so we need um, the texture extraction put this into our camera and add the fast color led to our scene or not to our scene to our assets via drag and drop put it in right here go to I just need to this one go to your material texture and add this one to it this is um, we, you can ignore this run one right here because uh, we need the information for our lot but I want to um, now I want to use um, material for um, and link it to with the patch or with the UI picker to my uh, rectangle and create the lot with it. So I um, add in this case just three different um, LUTs I created before. So material one, two, three. These are the icons we need later. One, two, three. I show you uh, in a minute how I um, create them uh, just pretty short so um, the, you can use the um, Photoshop um, file to create your own LUTs. So and now of course UI picker and I just oh, make sure that I compression and uh, filtering is not I don't need that and with RGBA so with the alpha 2 add uh, this 3 to my picker and go to select texture I think and yes and we don't see the this uh, this is our um, texture we see right here and our icon field and this is pretty awesome so when you want just to create uh, this simple lot perfect but um, I want to make more I want to use every single texture right here and I want to add a retouch and um, uh, um, a retouch and later a dust to it so I need to add uh, I create an animation sequence but before I start I just want to show you how I create uh, the LUT when you start with first with the LUT and you have no idea how to how you want to create it I think you can use uh, Photoshop files for different programs please let me know which um, editing um, for photos which uh, tool you use please uh, let me know if, uh, if you use Photoshop or Lightroom um, let me know but I just used Photoshop so I created this is a neutral lot the neutral lot uh, I used um, in every single tutorial where with uh, where I start with and the size is make sure the size is a 512 by 512 pixel and not too small and now this is um, the lots I created and I just go to um, this icon right here I don't know how it uh, how you na name it uh, or what's yeah and go to color lock look up table I create just a new one and now when you go on the double click or right here the presets you can add black, black and white gold blue many different um, lots and you can also add uh, I think new lots to it I don't know why how exactly but you can add um, customize LUTs to it so that you have can use the LUT for um, your Lightroom um, for After Effects or for um, your video editing and so on and so on so it's pretty cool and pretty awesome so yeah um, and I just um, created this these are just the names from uh, this one right here so bleach uh, candlelight blee 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 and I just created um, 10 different LUTs and 
created this is my icon bg and the numbers and make sure that when i hit the number one the large number one is uh, uh, created right here and so on and so on and just go through all of that so hope you understand this a little bit and i will link these this file and the description box down below so let's go back to our um, picker and I show you um, now a version and with this version you just have the UI picker and another patch and that's it and not so many different equ uh, equal exactly blah 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 too much information to it so I add I don't need this one delete them I add at first my icons to the scene this one right here so uh, I start like uh, every time start with zero so zero is one yeah. and use this icons Oop, everyone need a little, little while perfect now uh, I can just drag and drop them and link uh, them with the uh, textures or what I also can do is use this one so sorry this is the number zero one two three and nine Make sure the compression is on because now you don't see an error. It's not, not because, uh, no, I don't know. Um, restart and you see the icons right here. So, perfect. Now we create an animation sequence. This is our LUT sequence. In this LUT sequence, go to your texture, create a new image texture. And now we use all the LUTs we created. So make sure that the, uh, your icon zero has an icon uh, a LUT zero. And it's very important later that I think it's very important. I'm not sure if, it's, uh, if you got some trouble or, but for other, when you're in the script, uh, it's when you um, miss have uh, three icons, but just two options to switch, uh, nothing happened or it doesn't work and you have an error and make sure uh, you have um, the same amount of icons like uh, uh, LUTs or um, you want to add to whatever. Okay, we have the icons and we need the LUT, uh, our animation sequence, add this animation sequence to our uh, patch editor and link it with the LUT. And now it's techno. So um, every single frame um, is go through. So, but I just want to make sure it's in loop. I think it's important. I'm not sure. Um, I didn't know, but and go to add the current frame to it and link this one uh, just to make sure. Oh, um, and of course, no compression. And now, et voila, six zero, really the right fit for everything so pretty perfect and now you can create uh, you, you know this when you see this tutorial before you know how to um, create or maybe this tutorial um, too you how to create the um, retouch for the LUT so just uh, want by default with there will be um, um, 
with refreshes uh, a lot. I just create the second one because the, uh, the first one is not so pretty. Um, we need uh, a mesh, face mesh, and I don't want to retouch in explain too much. I just create when it's too fast. Please make sure you watch retouching the other tutorials. Uh, go to retouching and you see no retouching uh, because of the fast color LUT. Uh, copy this one and unlink this one. I need this patch is not correct. I need to add the texture extraction. Fast to lift. Perfect. And go right here. And I need a second face mesh. This is a LUT mesh. Add, of course, a new material. This is the new material LUT mesh mat. And like the other LUT is flat, go to this one, add this one right here and refresh just in case and it is working you see the retouch no, retouch 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 no. perfect and now just fix uh, this little one right here so start with the eyes uh, <laughs> the eyes and the mouth and add a mask to it this one so we don't need this one right here go to your mesh go to alpha add the face mesh mask to it and perfect done now we want to create and this is pretty simple i made it made way too complex uh, in the first time to working with uh, the uh, face tracker, the face mesh ends, etc, etc. And um, you just create a new canvas. We want to uh, add these um, dust or noise to it. Uh, you add a new canvas. Uh, yes, a new canvas to your scene. This is um, down below or over your um, fast color and so on. And I just forget make sure that the depth is off so when you go backward that um, you see the uh, LUT right here and or the retouch and we add a new rectangle to it this is our dust re rectangle so um, lens dust or dirt I just call it lens dust with this one Perfect. Um, new material. Go to lens dust mat and add flat. And we want also create for the dust. Yes, I want to create. Um, I have created different um, dust effects or frames. And I just uh, want to uh, a new, um, I call this dust, dust sequence. And go to new material. Blub, blub, blub. And want to make sure that I, this is a material add the dust sequence to a scene go to um, add to add or to a screen i love more screen it's a little bit softer blends a little bit softer uh, into each other and this is a way way too fast uh, go to your dust sequence 
go to random, um, stay with a loop, and I think five is okay. And now I just want to manipulate the opacity of our or of the lens dust uh, with the slider. So we create. Um, wait, it's it's too fast. Um, yes, I think it's okay. Now we create a slider. UI. And why? Oh, and it doesn't work because uh, the slider uh, patch just worked for uh, your Instagram, not for Photosh uh, Photoshop. <laughs> yes, for Facebook. So make sure when you go to platform, so uh, project, edit properties, go to uncheck the Facebook right here and double click again UI go to slider to um, the slider have uh, just two different values uh, the start uh, the zero and one value start with one so the opacity is by 100 100 percent and when the value is zero the opacity of my object is, or the alpha is, uh, zero percent. So um, I add the slider, and I need the value of my dust. Dust. Mm, dust material. Yes. Multiply. Sorry, I need a little <laughs> while to. Um, understand this so the easy way is just to connect this one right here and I can't test it right now um, I have to have to make sure and I test it uh, I show you the video right here I test uh, this uh, this is a simple solution how you can make sure that uh, you um, add the visibility on and off so uh, this is a simple solution how to create this slider and I want to don't want to go deeper in the slider um, options right now maybe you have some ideas or something you want to know wh what you what we can create with a slider because um, the picker is uh, I have many ideas what I can create with a picker but uh, the slider no idea uh, maybe you can add different slider to different picker options like uh, brightness or something like that. I think that is, that is possible when you have any ideas what uh, you want to see, uh, what, which tutorials you want to see with a slider, please let me know down below in the comments. And yeah, that's it today. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and I hope you learn. I really learned so much about uh, the possibilities of the uh, Pika UI and I really really love uh, this simple patch from, uh, from Spark AR. It's, it makes uh, for non-programmers uh, like me uh, the, um, the creating so much easier. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it and I really appreciate your support and your comments down below. And uh, of course, when you like this tutorial, please share it with your best friends who wants to see this. And of course, uh, I, uh, when you hit the notification bell or subscribe, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more um, tutorials. I really love um, the inspiration I uh, get from get from you or I really love to communicate with you and love to create um, tutorials uh, from your ideas and yes uh, we will see us uh, next week so enjoy the process bye bye